Okay, please excuse the giant mess. Yikes, and my kids are playing in the hallway, so who knows what they're gonna say. But I've decided I don't like this. <laughs> This is too cluttered. Um, ignore my messy hallway too. The kids have been distributing toys everywhere. Lordy, I'm just full of embarrassment today. Okay, so this is what the wall looks like right now. It's got the pegboard and the cards hanging up on the top. And then like the, this tripod's not gonna stay here, but it's just temporary anyway. This is the printer cabinet, the Calax unit, um, and then this unit from Ikea, which I like, but in this setup, it's like too cramped. Um, and, and I'm not really using the shelves and bins to their potential anyway. A lot of this stuff I'm just gonna get rid of. And it's not gonna stay in here. All this stuff on the floor is gonna go away eventually when I manage to clean this room at some point. Uh, and yes, so I think eventually my plan is to make this a slat wall so that I can just put bins on the wall directly. So it'll be kind of like a pegboard system, but it'll be slat wall. So it'll be really modular and I can put little bins for my greeting cards when they're done. But I think ultimately I'm just going to return this whole like unit thing that I've installed here to Ikea. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to put the crickets over here oh my god my desk and everything is so messy in this area we got to paint the shelf still but i just thought this could actually work um if i just put the two crickets there oh my god these kids y'all working at home <gasps> it's a lot anyway i'm gonna try to move the crickets over here and see what happens we have to drill some holes for the cords so that that like works out but um yeah anyway here's what it looks like with the two crickets in the little space it honestly almost looks like they were meant to be there then I can put like some little storage stuff over in the corners, I guess. I'm not really sure. Stuff that I don't use quite as often, but yeah. So, excuse the mess, but I think it'll work fairly nicely. Then if only I could just replace that one on the bottom with another mint one, <laughs> it would be perfect. Okay, everything is a mess right now, and I'm doing this one-handed, so it's probably gonna be a disaster. But I ordered a stamp, good Lord. <laughs> I ordered a stamp from this company called No Issue. Lord have mercy, let me take it out of the package. Okay, back on my chair without the packaging. Um, this box is so cute, by the way. Um, they also offer packaging solutions like this, so this is as much an advertisement as anything else. But I ordered this stamp for my packages and the backs of my cards and stuff. Oh my gosh, look, it's so cool. This is what it looks like, handmade with heart. Lovejess.co, love Jess. Ah! I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how it stamps. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and test it out. So to take it off, you just like pull the cap off. This is so hard to do one-handed, but you just pull the cap off, right? And then I can see, I would need it to go like this. Oh yeah, oh, it has the thing on it so I can just stamp it. That's actually awesome. So it tells you which way is the correct way, right? All right, so I wonder if I should test this first before I put it on my card. Okay, ready? I'm not used to seeing my feet. It's locked. How do I unlock it? Ah! <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, but it scared me. Oh my God, look at it. Okay, I'm freaking out. Why am I like this? All right, here we go. On the back of the card, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, it's crooked! Oh, man. I did it crooked. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> it's, it's handmade. <laughs> All right, so Andrew previously built me this ribbon rack thing like several years ago. Um, and we're gonna paint it eventually, but I just figured it was better to have it up on the wall 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and install it now and then we'll paint it later whenever we do our big paint of all the things that need painting. Yay! Okay, so the sublimation ink came. So this is, not sublimation, I'm sorry. This is regular ink <laughs> um, for the Epson. Basically what we're doing is we got cartridges. These are empty, sorry, not cartridges. They're like ink tanks. Just kidding, I don't know. It, <laughs> I'm confused. It does say cartridge, but it's supposed to be like an ink tank, right? And you get these bottles of ink, just like in the ink tank or the eco tank um, cartridges or whatever. So we ordered from Ink Owl and it's supposed to be the same quality as the Epson. It's like the same ink. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if the quality drastically changes or something. But basically what we have to do is put all this ink into these cartridges and then replace the cartridges that are in the Epson, which is there. So we'll see. I don't know. It's going to take a little bit of time to like fill up the cartridges and stuff, but I'll try to get footage of us doing that and I'll let you know how it goes. And then we also got these Calax inserts. This is brand new. They didn't used to offer these in the US, I don't think. Um, but they are like little organizers that go inside the Calax unit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and put one together and see how it works. But basically I have these ones in the corner here <laughs> from Michaels and they don't quite fit there. It's like the space isn't quite right. So um, I'm hoping to kind of filter all the paper and stuff into this Calax unit so that it's all in this one, this one unit here. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open those up and see how they look. Okay, I accidentally put this one on upside down, the first one that I did and I showed in the video. So I gotta flip this one around, but cause the white part should go on the inside so that when you put it in the unit, you don't see that brown part. <laughs> Yay, Ikea. Okay. So I should be able to just like slide it in. Oh my gosh. What? Ah, it looks so good. Yes! Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Let's go. Ready? Okay, so while Andrew is starting to work on the printer cartridges and all that, I am swatching out all of my stickles, the new ones that I've gotten. So basically what I do is I just take the cap off and then I put a tiny bit of 
the stickles <laughs> on the top and it works like a swatch so that if they're in a container and all I see is the top, I can still see what color it is. So you can see I've done a couple here uh, and then I still have this little pile over here to do. So when I'm working on my Ranger stuff right now, I am gonna be using stickles. So I wanted to get this done to get that started so I can see what I'm working with. This is the first time I've used this sticker paper. It's a glossy sticker paper instead of the matte that I normally use. So I put it on a different setting and it definitely cut all the way through. Like without a doubt, all of these are just, you know, cute little cutout stickers now instead of a sticker sheet. So I don't know, maybe I could like offer them as a sticker pack. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know, they're really cute, but they're just not exactly what they were supposed to be. Um, look at him, he's freaking adorable. Look at the little voodoo doll. Ah, little froggy with the witch hat. So cute. But now I have to figure out what to do with them because this isn't right. Yikes. All right, I just got a package delivered from Amazon. It is a punch from We Are Memory Keepers. And if I can get it open, I will show you. But basically, I was looking for a solution for my, Lord have mercy, you can't get this open ever one-handed. I can't ever open these things one-handed. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So I've got it open and out of the container. So you can lock it and unlock it. If we squeeze it together and then slide it down, it unlocks. But basically this is a punch. I'm sure you can hear my kids. They're in the hallway as always. Anyway, I was trying to find a solution for these little guys. When I showed you in the video before, um, I put them, they, they was, it was supposed to be a sticker sheet. Gosh, I can't speak today. It was supposed to be a sticker sheet, but they cut out instead of like just being normal. And so um, I tried just hole punching. See these ones I just hole punched, um, but I didn't like it. So I got this punch, which is a hang tag punch. Um, anyway, I'm gonna check it out and see what it's like, I don't know. Then I can see through it if I do it this way. But anyway, I'm gonna punch it and then see if it looks okay. Okay, so I punched the holes. It's a bit larger than it is, uh, or than I thought it was gonna be. I don't like quite how large it is because if I were to tip these upside down, these little stickers could fall out. Um, normally I wouldn't have such small stickers, but I don't know, kind of, it's a little larger than I wanted. But anyway, this is the idea. Um, why are they hanging crooked like that? <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Maybe it's because the stickers are on the side. Oh no. I think one of the stickers fell out. It's exactly what I was worried about. But anyway, that's the general idea. I'll have to play with the packaging so that I can move it down a little. This was just like completely random. Um, so I would need to kind of allow for a spot at the top for that to go. But anyway, that's the general idea. And then I could hang my inventory instead of having them like in a container or something. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I just got an order for this little cutie on my Etsy shop. So this is a birthday card. Um, and I'm just going to pop that into a bubble mailer. Um, with a thank you card and their packing slip. So I've got that. When I have card orders, I feel like it's a little easier because um, they're already like pre-packaged and stuff. But I am gonna stamp my new little stampy thingy 
on to this card or the envelope. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bloop. And there it goes, it's like released. Now I, I found that the stamp is actually crooked, unfortunately. So I'm not really sure if that's something I need to like contact them about or if it's just always gonna be like that. So it's not perfect, unfortunately, but I think for packaging, it doesn't necessarily matter so much. So I'm just gonna stamp it, boom. I think it's okay if it's like slightly wonky on the package. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> but there, now I have like personalized packaging and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the goodies right in here with our little thank you card and everything. And then we're gonna go ahead and take it to the post office. So we have the table set up in the driveway with the chalk lines marked out of how big my booth is gonna be for the craft show in November. And we're just trying to figure out what the layout is gonna be for the booth. So I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got the unit up here. There was a small tactical error. Uh, it looks like that gap at the top wasn't supposed to be there. It was supposed to be like the space under the bottom. So somehow the measurements got slightly messed up. The top of these units was supposed to be even with these ones. So it's slightly off, but I think um, Andrew's just gonna build like a spacer. So they sit up a little bit higher and we'll see from there what it looks like. Ignore the horrible wall painting <laughs> um and it still needs to be painted we just finished sanding it again um but i figured we could paint it in here and it wouldn't really matter uh but yeah this and it's got a wood filler spot back there <laughs> but anyway this is the new unit um and just to kind of give you an idea of what all this looks like excuse my mess there's stuff everywhere um yeah so now i've got my computer my super messy desk crickets ink pads and all my stuff and then now my Alex drawers with the new unit and then on this end right here we're going to be putting a fold out uh table so it will it will be able to collapse and be flat but then it'll also fold out and that's where I'll do my photography so when I need to take product photos and stuff it'll be like right here by the window and I don't know if you noticed but Andrew made a cutout <laughs> here because the the window the blinds and stuff stick out so we had to kind of adjust for that so it looks kind of funny if you're really looking at it but otherwise i don't think you really notice it too much hopefully i don't know anyway yay all right that is it for this week friends i just realized i hadn't even been on the camera at all did a lot of talking but i wasn't actually like here so hey, and goodbye. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me this week. Uh, it was very heavy on like remodeling and just trying to figure out stuff in the studio, craft room, whatever. So I didn't get a whole lot done other than working on my, uh, what you call it? My ranger project. Everyone's mowing their lawns. I'm sorry. Okay, I love you. I gotta go. Bye.